Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm aware. I totally lied to you guys when I said I was gonna have this video up on Friday. It is Wednesday. Definitely not last Friday. <laughs> Today is Ipsy versus Ipsy. I'm still not feeling very well. I don't think I'll be feeling very well for at least the next little while. I'm gonna say for the moment just a little heads up. I'm thinking to just kind of take the stress off of myself for right now. I'm gonna not promise you guys three videos a week um, just for the time being. For right now because I keep breaking promises and I feel really bad. I will always have at least one video up a week. It will be on either Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, depending when I can get it up. Let's get into unbagging. This is what the bag looks like this month. I love when they have these little rubbery things on the zippers. I do have two things that were outside of the bag in this one. And the first thing was an add-on that I got. It is the Huda Booty Lip Contour. And this is in the shade Famous. So I did get this myself. It was one of the $3 add-ons. Just kind of like a plummy berry shade. And then the next thing is a brush. A big floofy brush by Farah. These actually had the brush protectors on them, which is super nice. And it is big and floofy. Let's open this. A Koki concealer in the shade Light. It is an illuminating concealer. It looks a little dark for me, but we'll see. The next thing is by Meech and Mia. It is a single eyeshadow in taupe. Really, really light. This is what it looks like. Next up, I have, ooh, a mixy, a mixy, a mini Pixie Glow Tonic. I've been wanting to try this. This would be handy to put in my gym bag. Yep, smells like toner. And the last thing in this bag is by Laritzi. Oh, please don't be liquid lipstick. It's in the shade Curve. Oh no, it's a lip gloss, guys. It's okay, it's safe. All right, this is the shade. And the next bag, I have yet another Farrah brush. And inside the bag, ooh, another thing by Seraphine Cosmetics. Look at the packaging, it's all pearly and pretty. The Daisy and Pearl Natural Radiance Booster. This is supposed to be a highlighter. It's just a simple little compact. And if this is a highlighter, this is very, very dark. The next thing we got is Mark Anthony True Professional uh, Strengthening Grow Long Anti breakage mask strengthen and protect with caffeine and ginseng you can always use a good hair mask that's fantastic mac studio fix powder plus foundation in nc20 a very 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 tiny sample powder sample that's interesting and the last thing in here is another pixie glow tonic fantastic we love backups over here Okay, we're unbagged. Let's try some stuff on. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting on this concealer. So let's see if this is in fact too dark for me. It's very thin and pink. Eh, blend it out okay, it's not really, it's not exactly the kind of coverage I'd be looking for on a day like today and did an okay job over the spotties and I don't usually use powder foundation as foundation I don't even really know how to start with this so I'm just gonna go in to this powder here with a little eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna use that to set under my eyes oh that might might be a little bit dark. Does that look too dark? I don't know. I can't tell. I'm blind. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this taupe eyeshadow here with a, a big floofy. And I'm going to just put this in my crease. Not bad. And then uh, I'm going to go into the daisy and pearl go on my finger and i'm gonna just put that on my eyelid 
I could probably try this out as a highlight. I just don't, I don't feel like trying to finagle that today. That's okay. That's subtle. I am not even going to put mascara on today or do my brows. That's just how natural, natural. <laughs> and now I'm just going to throw on the lip glossy gloss. And, oh, I actually was expecting this to come off a little darker. <laughs> just gives like a super light flush to my lips and I am a okay with that. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Oh, it feels so much better to actually sit down and film. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will have pictures of the stuff that I got from my bags up on my Instagrams. Leave a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be around at least once a week. And we'll see you in the next one. Wow.